You're probably used to seeing helicopters up in the sky, but what if I told you that you can literally make one at home? Thanks to genius engineering and a lot of innovation, several companies around the world have come forward with their own homemade helicopter kits. From being able to carry over 500 pounds of weight to going as fast as 130 miles per hour, here are 15 of the most insane homemade helicopters out there. The HeliCycle This sleek single-seat helicopter was created by HeliCycle Ventures LLC in New Mexico. The chopper was dreamed up by none other than BJ Schramm and was designed to bring the thrill of flying to the masses at a price comparable to a mid-range SUV. Schramm's vision would be simple create a reliable, high-performance helicopter that anyone could build with basic tools and skills. The kits are delivered in six parts, from the frame to the controls, complete with video instructions and blueprints to guide you every step of the way. But what sets the HeliCycle apart? Well, it's got some nifty features, like a fully harmonized rotor, a smooth collective pitch system, and low vibration levels, thanks to special bearings. Plus, it handles just like a Robinson R22 so pilots can transition seamlessly into the cockpit. With a length of 20 feet and 10 inches, a wingspan of 19 feet and 10 inches, and a height of 7 feet 4 inches, this bird is compact yet powerful and can carry a payload of up to 351 pounds with an empty weight of 500 pounds and a max takeoff weight of 850 pounds. Under the hood, you've got a Solar T62 T32 turboshaft engine pumping out 150 horsepower, propelling you to a maximum speed of 110 miles per hour and a cruising speed of 95 miles per hour. With a range of 140 nautical miles and a service ceiling of 11,000 feet, the sky's the limit for the HeliCycle. The Safari 400 this helicopter was once known as the Baby Bell because of how similar it looked compared to the Bell 47 helicopter. It's currently being produced by CHR International of Mariana, Florida, and it features a sleek bubble canopy, a skid landing gear, and two-bladed main rotor. Crafted mostly from welded 4130 chromoly steel tubing, this structure is extremely durable and reliable. Engine options have varied over time, with offerings including the 160 horsepower Lycoming O320 B2B, the 180 horsepower Lycoming O360 C2C, as well as the 160 horsepower Superior XP320 and 180 horsepower XP360 engines. The Safari 400, which is a popular variant produced by the company, has some of the most impressive specifications, boasting a length of 30 feet by 3 inches and a height of 8 feet. And it also has a maximum takeoff weight of about 1,600 pounds. The performance metrics are equally impressive, with a maximum speed of 100 miles per hour, a cruising speed of 85 miles per hour. It offers a range of 270 miles with a service ceiling of 10,000 feet. And with a rate of climbing that reaches 1,000 feet per minute, the Safari 400 is all you need to go out on your own helicopter adventure. The Vortex Skylark The helicopter kit is being produced by Vortex in Maryland, and what makes this bird so special is that you can build it yourself with the plans they provide. Plus, they even hook you up with rotor blades for the design, which makes the whole process even easier. The Skylark is designed to meet those U.S. experimental amateur-built aircraft rules. It has one main rotor, a single-seat open cockpit with no windshield, and skid-type landing gear. Powering the copter is either a 70-horsepower Hearth 3503 or a 64-horsepower Rotax 582 engine. You've also got an option for a cockpit enclosure if you're feeling fancy. But now let's talk about the body. The fuselage is made from welded 4130 steel tubing, while the tail boom is aluminum. The rotor has a 19-foot diameter using a fancy NACA 0012 airfoil. And when it comes to hauling, it's got an empty weight of 350 pounds and can carry up to 700 pounds, including the fuel. Speaking of the fuel, it holds 8 gallons, giving you a payload of 302 pounds for you and all your things. The specs of this helicopter are absolutely mind-blowing. It's about 17 and a half feet long with a main rotor diameter of 19 feet, and when it comes to speed, it hits a maximum of 95 miles per hour, cruising comfortably at 70. 
With a range of 120 miles, you can go on quite the adventure, and it climbs like a champ to 1,000 feet per minute. With a disc loading of 2.5 pounds per square foot, this homemade helicopter is ready to soar. Mosquito Aviation XE This helicopter is a single-seater, home-built chopper that's been through a bit of a journey. Back in 2015, Mosquito Aviation folded up shop, but then innovator technologies of Rocky View, Alberta, Canada stepped in to keep the dream alive. By 2019, Composite FX of Trenton, Florida took over, and they've been crafting these helicopters ever since. The XE is like the much better cousin of the Mosquito Air, with a sleek cockpit fairing and an upgraded exhaust system. They even increased the rotor diameter by 40 centimeters to handle all of the extra weight. Crafted to meet the U.S. experimental amateur-built and European microlight aircraft rules, the bird boasts a single main rotor and tail rotor, a cozy enclosed cockpit with a windshield, and skid landing gear. But the best part is the punchy two-cylinder air-cooled two-stroke 64-horsepower MZ202 engine. When it comes to the body, it's a mixture of composites and metal tubing, with a mean two-bladed rotor measuring 5.95 meters in diameter an empty weight of 135 kilograms and a gross weight of 280 kilograms, and this homemade helicopter can haul a payload of 145 kilograms, which includes the pilot and his gear. With a full tank of 45 liters, you've got 112 kilograms to play with. And in terms of size, it clocks in at 4.9 meters long, having a top speed of 130 kilometers per hour. This homemade helicopter stands out as one of the best that's available today. The Rotorway Scorpion II The most fascinating part of this aircraft is that it was born from BJ Schramm's original concept. The Schramm Javelin transformed into the Schramm Scorpion under the wings of the Schramm Aircraft Company. After that, a fresh enterprise with the name of Rotorway Aircraft Incorporated emerged in order to take and produce plans for the kits for the Scorpion. It was considered an upgraded version of the former Javelin. Production began in 1967 with the very first Scorpion model and ended with the 145 in 1984. The Scorpion was revealed to the public in 1966 and produced kits in 1968. They had some pretty impressive specifications. It came with a gross weight of approximately 700 pounds, a useful load of 425 pounds, and a range of 160 miles with a cruising speed of 65 miles per hour and a climbing rate of 900 feet per minute. But the Scorpion II was just too good to ignore. This one came out as Rotorway's first two-seater, requiring about 2,000 hours of labor to be completed. With a gross weight of over 1,000 pounds and a useful load of 435 pounds, it would boast a range of 125 miles with a cruising speed of 75 miles per hour and a climbing rate of 1,000 feet per minute at sea level, showing off its enhanced capabilities. The Scorpion II's dimensions span 20 feet, 3.5 inches in length, and with a wingspan of 24 feet and a height of 7 feet, 3.5 inches, flaunting a main rotor area of 452 square feet, all while housing a two-blade semi-rigid rotor. One just can't stop admiring this absolute masterpiece. The Hungaro Copter This helicopter is the brainchild of Hungaro Copter Limited, with Farkas Gabor leading the charge as the head engineer. It's built to meet European micro-light aircraft rules and has a single main rotor, a tail rotor, and a cozy cockpit, either enclosed with a fairing or open without a windshield. And it's also got skid landing gear to help keep you steady. Powering this beast is your choice of a four-cylinder, four-stroke Subaru EJ22 engine, packing 135 horsepower, a beefier 160 horsepower Subaru EJ25, or a six-cylinder 125 horsepower D-Motor LF39. When it comes to the bodywork, the fuselage is crafted from welded steel tubing, and while its two-bladed rotor spans 7.0 meters, with an empty weight of 300 kilograms and a gross weight of 430 kilograms, there's room for a payload of 130 kilograms, which includes you and your gear. If you're wondering about construction time, well, plan for about 300 hours from start to finish. With this copter, you get some pretty impressive specs, and it goes smooth at 130 kilometers per hour, with a climbing rate of 6.5 meters per second. What more could you ever need? The AB Helicopters AW95 
This is an American helicopter designed for amateur construction, and that means you could literally build it yourself at home without needing any professional help. But things weren't always so smooth sailing for the company, and by 2012, AB helicopters had vanished. The plans became unavailable. The legacy continued, though, through the Vortec AW95, with plans still accessible from Vortec. Rooted in the Adams-Wilson choppy, the AW95 catered to the U.S. experimental amateur-built rules, with an empty weight slightly exceeding the FAR 103 ultralight vehicle's regulations. Boasting a 50-horsepower Rotex 503, the helicopter featured a single main rotor, an open cockpit without windshield, and skid landing gear. Constructed from bolted aluminum tubing, its transmission relied on a belt and chain mechanism with a standard empty weight of 271 pounds and a gross weight of 489 pounds. It could carry useful 219 pounds that were complemented by a five United States gallon fuel tank. While primary plans built, some prefabricated parts were available during the AB helicopter operation, with specifications that included a maximum speed of 65 miles per hour and a cruising speed of 60 miles per hour. The AW95 remains one of the most capable homemade helicopters that have ever been designed. The Vertical Hummingbird This is an American helicopter that's being produced by Vertical Aviation Technologies based out of Sanford, Florida. It made its debut in 1991, and you can actually build one yourself. It's a modern twist on the classic Sikorsky S-52, which took its first flight in 1947. With a single main rotor, a cozy four-seat cabin, and landing gear that is as sturdy as it gets, the helicopter is ready for action. The fuselage is crafted from a riveted aluminum sheet, and the nose looks exactly like the Bell 206. With a main rotor that boasts a diameter of 33 feet and three fully articulated blades, it has a tail rotor that measures 5.75 feet. The chopper is all about stability. When it comes to weight, it tips the scales at 1,790 pounds empty, but can handle a gross weight of over 2,800 pounds, meaning that you've got a massive 1,010-pound payload for about three average-sized grizzly bears. With a fuel tank that holds 57 gallons, you're looking at a payload of 668 pounds with a full tank. And amidst all the variations, the Hummingbird 300L stands out with a 280 horsepower engine. It's 5 feet wide and 8 feet 7 inches high, not exactly petite. When it comes to performance, it is a real star. A top speed of 110 miles per hour with a range of 380 miles, and this helicopter is going places. But don't forget about that service ceiling of 14,000 feet and a climbing rate of 950 feet per minute, because these specs truly set it apart from the rest. The Volocopter Volo City This is an electric aircraft that's shaking up the skies with its autonomous flying and vertical takeoff and landing capabilities. Crafted by the innovative minds at Volocopter, this sleek machine marks a milestone as their very first series model, setting the stage for a new era of air travel. It's powered by 18 individual motors, all thanks to cutting-edge engineering. Born out of the VC Evolution 2P concept study, this two-seater puts your safety first with a total rescue system. Unlike traditional choppers, which are hindered by their main rotors, the Volo City's innovative design allows for a total rescue system. And with redundant flight-critical systems, you can beat this helicopter in terms of reliability. But wait, there's more. It measures 31 feet 2 inches in length, 37 feet 1 inch in wingspan, and 8 feet 2 inches in height, striking the perfect balance between agility and stability. It boasts an empty weight of about 1,500 pounds with a max takeoff weight of close to 2,000 pounds, capable of carrying a payload of 150 to 200 kilograms. It's powered by 18 vertical electric engines and can reach a maximum speed of 68 miles per hour while cruising at 62 miles per hour with a range of 22 miles and a service ceiling of 6,500 feet. Volocopter envisions its debut as an air taxi service in Singapore within the next three years, and with zero emissions and minimal noise, it's poised to revolutionize urban mobility, easing congestion while offering a seamless travel experience. The Rotorway A600 This is another helicopter being produced by Rotorway International from Chandler, Arizona, and it's one of the most remarkable helicopter kits that you can create at home. It's an even better version of the Rotorway Exec with a new structure, a fancy shaft-driven tail rotor, beefier landing skids, and a turbocharged power plant developed in-house. 
Under the hood, you've got a turbocharged four-stroke Rotorway RI600S engine pumping out 147 horsepower. It features a spacious two-seat cockpit, skid landing gear, and a snazzy windshield to keep the wind out of your face. With an empty weight of 965 pounds and a gross weight of 1,500 pounds, you've got a payload of 535 pounds. Fill up the tank with 17 gallons of fuel and there's still 433 pounds left. This helicopter can hover at ground effect at 6,000 feet and out of ground effect at 4,000 feet. With a length of 29 feet and 6 inches and a height of 8 feet 7 inches, it's not messing around. When it comes to performance, it hits a top speed of 115 miles per hour, cruising at 100 miles per hour while staying up in the air for a solid two hours. And with a service ceiling of 10,000 feet and a climbing rate of 1,000 feet per minute, it's not only for fun, it can actually take you places. The Jetson 1 This one's a sleek and powerful personal aircraft boasting 102 horsepower, fueled by state-of-the-art lithium-ion batteries and driven on eight electric motors. It's crafted by Swedish company Jetson Aero and has quite the history. In 2017, the company went on a mission to democratize flight, founding Jetson Aero with a bold vision to make everyone a pilot. In 2018, the personal flying car took flight, paving the way for the groundbreaking Jetson 1 EVA Tall. Headquartered out of Sweden, they wasted no time offering each Jetson 1 for $92,000, with production eventually shifting to Poland before finding its way home to Italy. The company secured approval from the Italian Civil Aviation Authority in 2022, propelling the Jetson 1 into the skies of Italy's airspace. In terms of specs, lithium-ion batteries power its eight electric motors, and it's got a top speed of 63 miles per hour with a flight time of 20 minutes. Equipped with a rapid charging system, the Jetson 1 can be juiced up in just one hour at 230 or 240 volts, or two hours with a 110 volt power. So there's always very minimal downtime between flights. Weighing in at 190 pounds with sturdy aluminum and carbon Kevlar composite fuselage, this one is built to conquer the skies with ease. The Millennium MH-1 This is an American helicopter that has roots tracing back to the now-defunct Revolution Mini 500, brought to life once again by Millennium Helicopter. The kits are designed to breathe new life into the old Mini 500 airframes or construct a brand new MH-1 from scratch, all of which can be covered under amateur modification. The transformation involves a massive upgrade, swapping out the Mini 564 horsepower Rotax 582 engine for a robust 130 horsepower Yamaha powerhouse, alongside a slew of other enhancements to the transmission, tail, drive system, and rotor head. In terms of design, it's got a single main rotor paired with a two-bladed tail rotor housed within a snug and enclosed cockpit complete with a windshield, all resting atop skid-type landing gear. The most fascinating part about this helicopter may be the 19-foot diameter two-bladed rotor that boasts an 8-inch cord, giving the MH-1 its distinctive edge. With an empty weight of 600 pounds and a gross weight of 1,100 pounds, this helicopter boasts a useful load of 500 pounds, making it one of the winners in the race of the greatest homemade helicopters ever. Avamech Dragonfly DF-1 this is an American helicopter that emerged from Tucson, Arizona, crafted by Avamech International Aircraft Incorporated. It's sleek and born from Swiss ingenuity, arriving fully assembled and ready to take flight. Crafted to meet the stringent standards of the US FAR 103 Ultralight Vehicles aircraft rules, with an empty weight cap of 254 pounds, the DF-1 has a standard weight of 234 pounds. It features a single main rotor and tail rotor along with an open air cockpit without a windshield. This beast rides on skid landing gear, complete with ground handling wheels for added maneuverability. But here's where things get interesting. It's powered by tip jets fueled by hydrogen peroxide, ensuring that the aircraft emits nothing but water vapor and oxygen, leaving no environmental footprint in its wake. The tail rotor is purely for directional control, as torque compensation is a thing of the past, thanks to the tip jet system's unique mechanics. The fuselage is crafted from a sturdy blend of steel and an aluminum tubing, which provides the perfect balance of strength and agility. What's more, it's got a rotor that spans 19.7 feet in diameter, and the aircraft weighs 234 pounds empty and 794 pounds fully loaded. And it also features a useful load of 560 pounds. 
The Hoverbike This is not quite a helicopter, but it's a flying motorbike equipped with propulsive portions both in front and behind the driver. With this, you literally be gliding in the air. In 2014, Malloy Aeronautics began a mission to craft the ultimate hoverbike, experimenting with quadricopter-like technology. Then in 2015, the company began working with the United States Defense Department at the Paris Air Show and hinted at top-secret developments and cutting-edge innovations. Soon, the Aero X would be created, a sleek hoverbike that's designed to carry two people. After this came variants, which included the Hover Surf Scorpion 3, making its grand debut in 2017 and famously adopted by none other than the Dubai Police Force. This hoverbike requires a pilot's license in most countries except for Japan and considered proof of concept with plans for 200 units, a smaller version is slated for release in 2025, promising high-flying excitement at a much more accessible price point. The Air Scooter 2 this is a groundbreaking ultralight helicopter that was crafted by the mines at Air Scooter Corporation to deliver unparalleled control and maneuverability. Led by inventor and Air Scooter Corporation co-founder Woody Norris, the team behind it has overcome numerous challenges to bring this revolutionary aircraft to life. Drawing their inspiration from aviations of the past, particularly the work of Russian-born pioneer Igor Sikorsky, it boasts a coaxial rotor system that features two counter-rotating blades mounted on the same axis. The unique design generates up to 30% more thrust than traditional setups, thanks to its superior engineering and cutting-edge composite materials. At the heart of the Air Scooter 2 lies an Aero Twin engine, specially designed powerhouse crafted by the motorcycle engine specialists at Pearson Motor Company in New Zealand. With 65 horsepower under the hood, this engine propels the Air Scooter 2 to brand new heights. But the innovation doesn't stop there. Classified as a Part 103 ultralight, the Air Scooter 2 meets all the requirements for recreational flying under U.S. Federal Aviation Regulation Part 103. It means that aspiring pilots can take to the skies without the need for an FAA pilot certificate. Controlled via an intuitive handlebar assembly reminiscent of a motorcycle, it offers a user-friendly experience, allowing pilots to master basic maneuvers with ease.